Montana Charter School for Autistic Children is now taking a Delray Beach Foundation to court. The Palm Beach County School for Autism says the foundation improperly took $146,000 that was raised to create a permanent home for the school. According to our partners at the Palm Beach Post, the lawsuit would require the Sandra D. Excuse me, Sandra C. Sloman Foundation to ask donors what should be done with donations. Now a story you'll see only right here on News Channel 5. A student in St. Lucie County gets involved in a fight with a school staff member, and it's all caught on camera. News Channel 5's Dan Krauth has more of the exclusive video and the whole story behind it. You can see the teacher has no control. Tamiko O'Neill knew her son was in a fight in a Fort Pierce classroom. He had a busted lip and a knot on his right eye. But didn't realize how bad it was until she saw the surveillance video. I was angry. I was upset. I was on the phone. I was calling everybody. Including the Contact 5 investigators. The video's grainy, but it shows her then 13-year-old son, DeMonte, in the white shorts, trying to leave the classroom at Delaware Avenue School. What happens next got him expelled and facing juvenile charges for battery and resisting police. From seeing the video, it seemed like he was battered. Take a look for yourself. School officials say there was an altercation taking place in the hallway. And as you can see, DeMonte tries to go out the classroom door. But pay close attention to what happens next. Why was my son picked out of the one to be slammed? And you can see it in the video. That's not right. About 30 seconds later, school resource officers rushed in. They handcuffed and arrested the teenager. I see a teacher battering a student which is absolutely wrong. It wasn't a teacher. The man involved was actually a behavior technician hired to help keep kids at the alternative school in line. They might see it as the staff member getting physical with the student. Correct. Assistant Superintendent Bill Tomlinson couldn't talk specifics about what happened because it involves a criminal case and a student. He admits the behavior technician used force, but says it was reasonable force. And the technician did exactly what he was trained to do. It is the last resort any time that you have to use reasonable force. But this situation, it was necessary in order to maintain an orderly environment in the school. He says there's proof in the video. If you rewind their surveillance video to before that altercation took place, you'll see DeMonte trying to get out the classroom door another time, about 40 seconds before. Tomlinson says the technician confronted him, as you can see, and gave the student a verbal warning first. Prior to blocking comes with verbal instruction. You need to go back to your seat. In a statement to police, the technician claims the student made verbal threats and went on to say, quote, DeMonte then attempted to walk out again. So I grabbed him by his arm and attempted again to escort him back towards the computers and then he started showing aggression, and that's when I wrestled him to the floor. Tamika says it looks like a lot more than just escorting to her. That could have been a different way he could have handled that situation. We have to look at maintaining that safe and orderly environment. DeMonte was expelled a short time later. It's now up to a judge in St. Lucie County to determine whether the teenager should be convicted of juvenile charges. I had to let other people see the video to say maybe I'm looking at it from a mom's point. And I'm not seeing, you know, I'm seeing something that's different. Dan Krauth, WPTV, News Channel 5.